Hello, my acceptable people. This is me, Mr. Acceptable. So as you can tell by the title, today I'll be talking about fandoms. Before I start this video, for those of you who do not know what the word fandom means, let's head over to the most reliable source on the internet for finding out the definition of stuff, UrbanDictionary.com. Fandom, the community that surrounds a TV show, movie, book, etc. Fan fiction writers, artists, poets and cosplayers are all members of that fandom. Fandoms often consist of message boards, live journal communities and people. So based on the fact that Urban Dictionary is always right, not. If you're part of the and people category, even if you're not a fan of nothing, presuming you are a person watching this, if you're not, you're an alien, that's so cool. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Earth. It's a bit messed up. You are still part of the fandom. Deal with it. <laughs> I've met a few people that you might consider celebrities or well known and have their own fandoms like I've met this guy and this thing and a couple of other YouTubers but I've not really had that fandom moment where I've got really excited and just wanted to go and literally kill myself over the person. I personally believe that I would never have that fandom moment because I believe that if someone that is quite famous or well known they're probably not gonna meet you and even if they do meet you they're probably not gonna remember you. They may remember you but there's a very slim chance because think about, about all the fans that they meet every other day or every day. How are they gonna remember one individual from another? They could but I highly doubt it. I just don't think people so associate their lives with people that are not around them from their day to day life because they're not going to help you out. They may be making you smile for a day by making you watch a video of theirs and you may enjoy it for that like 10 minutes or an hour or whatever it is you watch their videos or even watch the TV show for example. They're not going to change your life personally on their own accord. You're going to think they're changing your life because you're trapped in this fandom and you literally want to kill yourself because you cannot live without that person or you think that you can't live without that person when you actually can. Now this is not me hating on fandom groups because they are awesome because people get to meet other people that can share common interests and like the topics that they like. Let's just look at it from a different perspective for a moment. Say for example if someone does kill themselves over someone because of fandom, imagine if that person finds out that someone killed themselves because of them having some sort of fandom over them. Imagine how guilty they would feel. Unless they're a really sinister person and it pains me to say it, there are people that actually don't care if other people commit suicide, but they can think whatever they want. Even if the person's guilty or not, one person has committed suicide because of fandom and that is just not okay. That's when fandom is just wrong. I'm just going to end this video here because I can talk about this subject forever but I don't really want to go on and offend more and more people as I go along because this is very a sensitive subject when you actually mention about the suicides that involves the fandom. Because when you mention suicide it just gets serious and people do get offended by certain things because you can't please everyone and I do try and stay on a neutral side with things so please bear that in mind I'm not trying to hurt anyone if I do mention certain topics and give my opinions just remember it's just my opinions it's not facts so you don't have to agree with me you don't have to disagree with me just have your opinions and have your say down below in the comment section I want to know your opinions about fandom so what do you think about fandom? That's the question I'm asked in today. As always, please like and share this video because that would be most acceptable. And whatever you do, just make it acceptable. Goodbye. Tell me how's a rapper look fly in a Oxford. Tell me how's a rapper act quiet and awkward. How's he got a buzz from Chicago to Rockford, from New York to LA, Oakland and Concord.